plastic surgeons about a decade ago found that our patients who were receiving uh, Botox therapy or even undergoing uh, eyelid plasties or blepharoplasties would come back and say, gee doc, you know, you know I had migraines and they're a lot better. And so this, this really led an, a number of uh, plastic surgeons to think differently about migraines and, and, and as a group we really started exploring uh, how we can um, harness this newfound knowledge to make our patients better. For many patients, it's uh, it's medications they take, or that can that can trigger these migraines, or behaviors, or hormonal changes. But but it, we're finding in many patients, there are nerves around the face and neck that can be irritated by either blood vessels or tight fascial bands, or even aberrant even aberrant courses of these nerves that can that can cause a tightness or an irritation around the nerve. Most migraine patients respond well to behavioral therapy or medications, and, and they should be. The patients that I see are the ones that either don't respond to medications or really can't tolerate the side effects of medication. And uh, in many patients, after meeting with them, uh, hearing about their history, examining them, and um, most often treating them with blocks such as uh, local anesthetic or even Botox, we can differentiate amongst these patients. And what we're looking for is patients that we can help with surgery. The pain was mostly stabbing, pounding, I, like a vice on my head. It could last two to three days and um, just completely couldn't do anything. With her, during her first surgery, we felt that her symptoms were predominantly in the front and uh, we agreed that, that we would uh, start, start at the front feeling that that would um, resolve most of her problems. And in fact, they have. But she still gets occasional uh, migraines in the back that can trigger these terrible migraines in the front. And so she's seeking more uh, relief. We'll just make a, a small incision in her scalp. And, uh, and through that incision, we'll go right down to those nerves and release the, the muscle and fascial bands. I suspect that we'll find some blood vessels that are, that are wrapped around the artery, which I think often explains why these patients describe pounding vascular type uh, headaches. There have been a number of very good studies um, that have uh, followed these patients for over five years. And in, in the right patients, patients who have indications for surgery, we're finding uh, over 80% of patients are getting significant improvement for their migraines. It's definitely not for all migraine sufferers. Migraine patients must be seen by their primary care doctor and migraine specialist. I am not a migraine doctor, I am a plastic surgeon, and so I, I really won't see a patient unless they've been seen and treated by a neurologist. We need to make sure that they are absolutely suffering from migraines and not some other problem that can be simply treated with medications or other therapies.